reference occasion series of YouTube tutorials using MATLAB. Today we're looking at the naive Bayes classifier uh, in the current version of MATLAB. It just changed from older versions. And just to be clear about this, uh, this is the IP is not where my it comes from here. We tidy up as per usual. And we load the Fisher Irish data set. So column one is sepal length, column two is sepal width, column three is sepal petal length, and column four is petal width. So we have these irises and we have four characteristics. And we know that there are three types of species. Uh, so that we there here on where the line is, we're just getting all the rows, column stream four. So we're looking at petal length and petal width, and we're trying to classify on those two characteristics. Uh, we also get the species, and there's the three species of irises, uh, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginia. And there's 150 in total, and there's 50 of each. So we just do a gentle plot at the beginning, which we'll see underneath. Uh, we're plotting the three species here, that's Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginia. Setosa will be red, Versicolor is green, and Virginica is blue. And what this means is O for a circle, S for square, and D for diamond. As we see there. Now, schoolboy, 12 year old, would say, okay, that's fairly obviously a class. Most of these are a class, most of these are a class, and then there's a bit of overlap here so we're trying to get um, some statistics out and we're doing this on the basis of the Gaussian distribution each that will have a mean and standard deviation that has a mean and standard deviation that has a mean and standard deviation and we're classifying on the basis of the Gaussian distribution using the mean and standard deviation a uh, new command to MATLAB 2016, FIT CMB, so FIT, classical naive classifier, naive Bayes classifier. There's the three names. And then we just get the mean and standard deviation for uh, the first one there. Now, not so easy coming up. So we plot these, we get the current axis and we test some limits. So if we go down a little bit, you have to run this yourself. So we're getting the limits of 0 to 7 and a bit and 0 to 2 and a half. So we can set the limits of the plot. Just there. We hold on so we keep the graph intact. Now we need this command cell to matrix. So the MDL it, that we just got above is a, of a cell. We convert that to a classical matrix and then we dig out the means here. So what we're doing is we're taking the parameters and we're looking at rows one to three columns one to two and we're digging at the means and here we're going to set up sigma here so we're going to set up two rows two columns by three so we're going to have a covariance matrix for setosa that'll be layer one a covariance matrix for a versicolor that's layer two and a covariance matrix for Virginia that's layer three. So that's what the for loop is doing, layer one, layer two, layer three. We're diagonalizing it and we're doing a dot product to create the covariance matrix. And then we're creating the limits here. So it's the mean and we're using plus or four, plus or minus four times the square root of the standard deviation for the x and for the y. 
and then on this line here we use easy counter and by the way easy counter is going fairly soon using um, the multivariate normal probability distribution function and there's our counters there so there's plus or minus four standard deviations in a counter there's plus or minus four standard deviations in counters and there's plus or minus four standard deviations in counter and our zone of uncertainty is these lads here so we're only classifying on that basis okay now we're doing the classification here we're saying rightly or wrongly that that's a virginica now it could just as easily be a versicolor but hard to know and likewise there so it's you know we're just going with it okay so that's just a gentle introduction there is more to come but i hope that helps thanks very much for listening